you're a bit of a father of a theatrical dynasty here. Mm -hmm. You have many children in the theater. Is this good? Do you <laughs> like them being in the theater? I'm very envious of my son, Dan, being able to write. He makes me furious because um, he's doing very well with it. And he can write. I've always, I, I wish I could write like Gilga does, for instance, because there's a history of his entire life in his letters. I've never been able to do that. Dan has a wonderful command of English and a great sense of humor. I have neither. So, but it's interesting <laughs> to see. You have see. no sense of humor? <laughs> Not much. But uh, both my sons, Reed and Dan, started out as actors. Uh, Reed played Moth in a production of Love's Labors that we took to England. And he gave it up. Not so very long after that, he said, I find it boring. It really is boring. I'd much rather teach or do some woodwork. <laughs> well, he teaches now in uh, St. Mary's, uh, in London, at Banding High. And he teaches drama. And he has three marvelously talented daughters. And then Dan, um, Actually, John Hayes offered Dan the part of Moth originally. He called me, and I said, well, I have two sons here who might do it, uh, Reed and Dan. And he said, well, Dan's a little older, perhaps. And at that moment, I saw Dan running out the front door at Courtley Boulevard down towards Avenue Road. I said, John, I'll call you back. <laughs> I ran after Dan. I said, what is it? He said, I'm not going in any other play. He'd been in the Scottish play at the Crest Theatre, <laughs> playing one of the flounts or something like that. And he hated it. I never want to act again. <laughs>